Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. I hope you're all doing great and welcome to this new video. Um, on Bitcoin, of course, uh, we're going to do a full update here for, for the weekend, but also talking a little bit about what to expect over the course of, uh, of, over the course of this weekend. Um, I'll probably make some sort of a middle of the day market update still later today. And by the way, the audio is quite bad, but I, uh, I forgot my microphone. So that's why. Um, but hopefully it's, it's still, it's, it's still good enough for you. Um, it, it should at least be like the, the audio is probably not top tier quality, but at least you should be able to hear me. Um, but yeah, we'll talk about Bitcoin. I mean, right now, I think we're at a, we're at a pretty, um, important level for, for Bitcoin here. And that's basically what I've said for the last two and a half days. Um, and that is that if we look at the chart here, like this level right here between 63,500 and 65,000, um, technically is a very strong level, right? So, so only if we would, only if we would be very, very bullish, um, we could push through that and, and, and we could break above that and get into the 70,000 easily. Um, and last week was very bullish, right? We, we had a ton of volume also to, to break through some major levels. Um, but eventually the, the volume also started stalling, right? And, and to break above a, a level like that, you really need volume. Um, and I would say like, like the volume got to $52 billion. I think like if, if you look at the last year or so, the, 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 the couple of times that we really pushed through, like especially here at the start, we, we had a volume of, of, of about 80 billion, right? Um, so I'm, I'm not necessarily saying that, that we need that, but honestly, if we break above 64, 65,000 here, there's a pretty high chance uh, that we're going for all-time highs. Also talking about the fundamentals and, and combining those fundamentals with the technicals, um, then all-time highs are, are very, very possible. And to get to all-time highs, I would say maybe we, we actually do need 70, 80 billion dollars in volume. Um, but yeah, so so I do expect resistance here from that level between 63,500 and 65,000, more than we've seen so far. I mean, so far we have found resistance there, but we haven't really pulled back. Um, but the key is that if we pull back, look, if, if you look at this structure here, I think fundamentally, to talk about that a little bit um, uh, at first, I think fundamentally we are bullish, all right? So the S&P 500 has held the breakout. Now we kind of still need to see whether this actually continues the uptrend after breaking the previous all-time high. Uh, but this looks good. The dollar strength index also looks bearish, so that's good. Um, next week, we have some big economic events uh, towards the end of the week, so Thursday, uh, Friday. So that's going to be interesting to see what comes out of there. And that's going to be very crucial for the dollar strength index, all right? Because if the dollar strength index, which is still at a strong support here, it looks like it's going to break down, but it's still at a great support. If the dollar strength index bounces here, um, honestly, yeah, we have to take into account that we that, that we could still drop down all the way to, to this level right here at 58, maybe 57,000. Um, and that this is still the consolidation range that we have been in then basically since the beginning of August is a possibility. For me, I don't think this is most likely. I think it is more likely, and that's also what I wanted to say, that we will pull back from this level. But I think this level right here between 62 and 60,000 filled with strong support levels, I think that's going to hold. And that's also the most crucial thing to keep an eye on. Like, like what, what's going to be the reaction at that level? Um, and that's what I wanted to say. <laughs> All right, so I, I, I took a little bit long to get there. Uh, but the reaction to that level is going to be crucial. Um, also, if we get like, like volume now is, is going down, right? So volatility m might uh, might increase. If we get some sort of a spike down, how will we recover from that? That's also going to be crucial. Uh, you want, let's say you spike down like this, you want to see some sort of a V shape like this, right? Um, but I do think that's most likely. Um, I think in light of the fundamental situation right now, um, uh, worldwide, I would say even, I think a continuation like this after a brief pullback is the most likely scenario. So I'll keep you updated on that, of course, if anything changes as well. Uh, but that's at least what I think you need to know for now. So have a great weekend. I'll see you all in my next videos and bye.